<laughs> we can't harmonize it. Hey, it's, such a, it's a complex melody. It's too complex for our tiny brains. It's a bit to... Oh, we whatever. could do like a Gregorian hymn style. That would, we gotta learn. Let's let's figure, <laughs> let's figure that out at some point. Um, okay, wait. What was I gonna do? Um, all right, I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, real YouTube is play competitively. Did you forget that I do this sometimes? There we go. And oh, spot on. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been doing much uh, that like much like serious competitive stuff. Ah, so I figured that was kind of funny. Anyway. Okay, so there I was. So, guys, I have an announcement. Hello, we're recording now, Justin. Oh, hello. You want to say you, you want to say hi to the people? I guess you did just say hi to the people. Oh, I What's up, people? Time. Um, so I have to play a best of three versus Aaron Zhang, uh, and the, that video will go up most likely tomorrow, uh, if I had to guess. However, the issue is that I have not played a single game of Series 5. Not even one. I don't even have a... I don't have any completed teams. Um, and I have to play Aaron relatively soon. So I've called him the Big Guns, a.k.a. Justin, uh, to help me. To help me figure this out. So we're going to sit down... Like, we were going to do this anyway, because I was like, Hey, Justin. And Justin was like, yeah. I was like, can you help me build team? And he was like, yeah, I'll help you build team. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so we were going to do this anyway, but I want I thought it could be kind of cool to show you guys the, uh, the building process. We've actually recorded two others of these, but I never posted them. I, maybe I'll post them at some point. They were for the Players' Cup team. Um, for the... Uh, no, yeah, for the Players' Cup Wi-Fi tournament. The Save Life Control team. So I could post those if people wanted them, but... Yeah, Justin's played a fair bit of Series 5 um, and is... Yeah, overall very strong in building, so I figured it could be helpful to have him around. Uh, strong in building? That's a overstatement. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically we talked about it a little bit in advance, and I think we're probably going to start with Al. We're going to try out Alakazam, I think is the idea. Um, but other than that, I don't really know anything about the the, ser the format, so yeah. Um, what are your first impressions, Justin? Is there, like, what should I know going in? It sounds like Rain is kind of popular. It sounds like... Marowak? How popular is Marowak? I've just seen it on a couple of trick rooms. Okay. Stuff. Uh, the main thing for me is like I feel like there's so many different teams now mm -hmm. that are viable, uh -huh. and a lot of people are still figuring out what doesn't work anymore. Right. So like Urshifu is obviously the big threat. Uh, people are just starting to really trying to figure out how that just like fits into the metagame. I think that just having something with such naturally high base stats means mm -hmm. that it's going to be used. Um, I think the same thing applies to Terrakion actually. Yeah. Um, and Verizion, because Verizion is actually something that I think we should explore in the future too. Good grass types is something we've lacked in the format, but now I, we have. I always like Verizion, yeah. Um, and then there's just a bunch of other new like weird things, like all the G Max moves that we right. didn't really understand. Like like Cinderace obviously hits really hard, but now you also have like um, basically Wildfire and Grass and Water type. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's less prevalent in the Blastoise, but Blastoise having that option makes it really interesting. Mm -hmm. And Venusaur, I think, is actually the better threat because, as I said, we have a lack of grass types. So, that's yeah. something that's going to hit almost, like, every team unless Rillaboom becomes really popular. Mm -hmm. Is Rillaboom, how popular is Rillaboom right now, as far as you can tell? Is we're still in, like, the experimental phase. Right. Where, like, people are trying to figure out what they like, what they don't like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of like... Uh, just everybody wants to know whether or not Grassy Terrain is worth the investment. Right. Um, because Real Boom, like has a decent like base stat, uh, base stats like it's decent got great stats, Yeah. Yeah, like great uh, speed. And um, move but that's nice as well. Fake out and knock off. Yeah, a Grassy Slide is a really cool addition. Yeah. Um, and that I think that that's good. actually going to be really key. Uh huh. But that's speaking of Real Boom, That's obviously where we should start countering. Yeah. Yeah. Use Alakazam. So the idea for everyone who's not super familiar is that expanding force is a broken move. Um, is it one point five times power or is it double power? I don't actually know. Okay, well I, I don't know that Showdown has it right yet. Either. Yeah. Because they always focus on singles first. Right, and they don't have expanding force in the calc. So it's probably if if it says one point five times power, I believe it. The only question is, is it treated as a spread move when it becomes one point five times power? Regardless, it's strong, and I'm going to click the button and hope it does damage. Like, So it doesn't really oh. matter specifically how much damage it does. I mean, it does, but like, yeah. Um, I, yeah. With ahead. Life Orb and Psychic Terrain, Helping Hand, like, one shot, even in when it was a spread move, um, I think it almost one shot my Volcarona. Really? I actually yeah, surprised that it didn't one shot your Volcarona. Yeah, the thing is, I think I had, like, 28 HP EVs, so it was, you know, had a little bit of uh, chunkiness to it. Yeah. It had a little bit of a quarantine body. 
<laughs> uh, too real. Um, right. So the idea is that we have Alakazam and Didi, right? Mm -hmm. And Didi female, I presume. Uh, yeah. Do you well? Do you want to use the male version? It depends on whether or not you want follow me. Alakazam's defense is really bad, but yeah. Are you gonna KO things before you get hit? Probably not, right? No. Another thing too is you got to keep in mind that like your entire strategy isn't focused on your Alakazam maxing anymore because you want the spread. Yeah, moves, you want it so. to not max. Like I think having the ability to max is probably nice. So like Alakazam clearing the way for a Dynamax sweep is really strong. Yeah. And also then having something that you can use it late game. Yeah. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Yeah. Man, I kind of want Focus Ash Alakazam with Nasty Plot, but I think you're right about Life Orb because indeed he really wants this. I think we should just check the Life Orb damage first. If well, you, the if you we don't know how much playing, the move does. Um. Well, we're just gonna have to play to figure it out early. But uh, yeah, I don't have the Monson game yet. Um. I guess we can. <clears throat> we can play on Showdown. But it isn't showdown bugged. Like, I'm playing Aaron in game. Yeah, but for now, how else are you going to practice? Are you just going to wing it? <laughs> I mean, I was going to play some games, but it, if showdown's wrong, like, I don't know if I want to bank everything, assuming showdown's right. Yeah, but I don't know. Depends. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have Ndidi, good support mon. Um, I expect that ex with expanding force, it should do, like, decent damage on its own as well. Um, so what are, where are we going from here? We're obviously worried about Rillaboom, and speed is the other big thing. Like, if we play against Polyjord Kingdra, we'd just lose, right? Yeah. Do you want to do you want to maybe think about Talonflame? I hate Talonflame. I really do. And no, Talonflame and Ndidi are bad synergy, right? Because you can't use flying moves if you're in Psychic Terrain. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The issue is like, the Tailwind. The they only, only added strong moves that we have, like for Grass types yeah. in general, are flying. Like Ice, you don't really get super strong Ice. You get moves. Cinderace. Cinderace is a good mod. But you have to worry about Rain neutering your damage. So if you do that, you also have to throw in like Tyranitar. Or something to eliminate rain. Yeah. Um, I think flying is a safe bet. You can go like... Um, I was going to say Togekiss, but... Braviary? I don't love Braviary. Like, right now we have two bad mons, right? We have Alakazam and Ndidi, so I'd like some good mons. Right. So, I think the next mon that would make some sense intuitively to me is either Terrakion or Crocodile. Why? I don't know. I think the typing looks... Like, for example, Alakazam doesn't want to go up against Sand, right? Uh, yeah. Like, dark, dark types in, in general are kind of difficult, so I think having something that can handle those is somewhat nice. Do you want to run Sash, Terrakion? Or, no, we have Sash on Ndidi. Sash on Ndidi. Um, is Shuka? Alakazam faster than Cinderace? It's not, right? 119? Wait, isn't know. Alakazam 120? It is. Oh, Alakazam outspeeds Cinderace. That's a big one. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I think Alakazam basically outspeeds everything except for, like, Weavile and yeah. uh, Dragapult. The other option is that we could do Alakazam in DD and then do, like, Porygon 2 Marowak. Because Alakazam really discourages fighting types. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like P2 a lot. Or, like, Marowak something. Because Marowak is very strong, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I like P2 in general. Marowak is strong, but I don't like Marowak. Marowak. Yeah, you don't like Marowak? No. Because it has a new move, right? Poltergeist? Poltergeist, I don't know yeah. how that works. It's, uh, as long as they have an item, it's an incredibly powerful attack. Oh, really? If they have an item? Yeah, but it doesn't use the item. It just, it's just if they have one. Oh, that's uh, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, until they eat, like, a berry, right? And then you can't use it anymore, but... Yeah, but um, then you can use it as a max move, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's super you strong. I think max. it's, like, 110 base power, which, like, considering Marowak's Thick Club is, like... Wait, what about, like, max... What about, uh, physical Porygon? I've never... Max I'm not opposed... Marowak. You go like download because you probably get the attack boost. More and then you not. use Max Ghost and drop their defense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see what you're thinking. Um, Mar they get Marowak in prison, which is interesting. Poltergeist. Wait, no, Porygon doesn't ever turn anymore. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Never mind. Trash. <sighs> Incineroar is an option as well, like because what's what Alakazam and Ndidi are not like in dark types, right? So maybe Marowak mm -hmm. isn't the play because dark type is like strong against Marowak as well. Well, there's not many good dark types outside of Tyranitar and Incineroar. And, like, and those Pokemon aren't exactly... Is Crocodile a good Pokemon? I have a feeling it is, personally. What are, what about our own Urshifu? Is it good? I have not used it. I don't. I can't use it on Showdown because it doesn't have a model yet. And oh, yeah, yeah, so you don't know what it looks like. Bias, yeah. But, like, I won't do it until it has a model. True. Um, I don't think it's that broken yet. It has a really bad special defense stat. It's, so special defense is really bad. It just gets Togekissed into Oblivion. 
Um, I don't think there's any good moves to deal with Togekiss either. It's just critical heads hit with water moves. Yeah, water moves. Yeah, Togekiss is an issue. We're going to steal Pokemon. Because we're going to want to steal. We need something for Togekiss at some point. Yeah. Um, not something priority. I mean, maybe no. Excadrill. I mean, we could use Terrakion, but that's only a kind of thing. Yeah. I actually generally like using Rock Pokemon to beat Togekiss. Because they always have the berry. Yeah, because yeah. they have the berry. Like, Rhyperior was lovely. Also, just, like, not using Steel Pokemon, like, using Max Lightning, Reuniclus. That mm -hmm. was... That was good. So, the additions were, like... Scizor, uh, Magnezone. They mean Steel additions? Or? Yeah, Sand Slash. I'm just looking at Steel types still. I do like Steel types. Klefki. The only Magnezone. good Steel types are Scizor and Magnezone that they added, really. Wait, didn't they add one more? What if we had Terrakion? I mean, Terrakion and Alakazam is... Wait, Alakazam doesn't get beat up, does it? Yeah. Dang it. Terrakion's a good Dynamax Pokemon as well, and I kind of like Terrakion and Didi. Like, you want to go Swords Dance? I was thinking, that's what I was thinking, Swords Dance, Terrakion. We're on the same wavelength. We are, we have got it. Yeah, because you also have Helping Hand, plus... The only issue is I don't love that Terrakion sets the Sand up, which will break in Didi's, like, Sash, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's really only situationally. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, there's probably situations where you can use that to your advantage, like getting yeah. Didi off the field. Yeah, that's true. Though NGD generally benefits from sticking around because of follow me. Yeah. Uh, we need something for Dragapult, too. Oh, I mean, we have Ndidi, but. We have like, Ndidi, yeah, but. Ndidi won't. Just one size. We need some kind of speed it. control right now. Like, it's looking like we want Tailwind, or because our mods are so fast, you could maybe justify Icy Wind. Icy Wind, Politoed? Well, what do we have? No, weaknesses? Icy Wind uses it. Our weakness is the Sand. Sand like, is a problem. Like, if they have Earthquake X Control, we just insta lose, right? So I think maybe we want Trick Room. I was going to say we should go Shuka. Shuka? Terrakion. Because if we have Ndidi, they're not gonna they're not gonna go for Iron Head. That's true. Into it. And I think the only thing you're really worried about. We, is... I don't even know if we live a Max Quake. Like I don't know. I feel like Shuka would only come into play with Earthquake, and they could be Sash anyway, so it wouldn't even help that much, you know. Like mm. Shuka Terrakion cannot be an extra. Goal. Like wouldn't Balloon even be better if you're we gonna do that? You know what I was thinking? Well, does po does Politoed have a place here? I think what we want is some kind of speed control. And I think in order for speed control to be effective, it has to enable Alakazam and Terrakion to move before the opponents. So, so Politoed enables like Kingdra, but Kingdra's just doing more of the Alakazam Terrakion role, you know? Like it's just more of the same. What I was thinking was you can use it to turn off Sand. And also it gets Icy Wind. Sand is only bad for Ndidi right now. Like it doesn't affect Alakazam and it boosts Terrakion. So, and Ndidi isn't the core offensive member. What else gets beat up? I mean, Terrakion gets... I mean, um, Crocodile gets beat up. Crocodile gets beat up? I'm fairly certain. What is this newfound love you have for Crocodile? Bro, I like Crocodile. It's a good mon. No, it's not. It's a great mon. <laughs> it, it had success in one format where they didn't <laughs> two, have good two. Pokemon. It won Worlds in 2017, in 2017 and it almost won in 2011. Popular. It almost won in 2011. That was when there was like literally a hundred something Pokemon in the decks. <laughs> oh, you mean like Gen 1, Gen 1, best Gen. I'm a Gen 1-er. Yeah, before they had BGC. They didn't have doubles. <laughs> they had... Oh, Gen 1, yeah. I thought you were saying 2011 they didn't have doubles. <laughs> so, like, Basically didn't me? have doubles. Oh, Crocodile gets lashed out, bro. We're lashed out of our mind. What is lash out? Is it something to do with if, your It's eyes? the Tyranitar attack. If you drop your stats, you doubles. It's a dark type move. My eyelashes are lashing out right now. Really? Bro, you I haven't gotten them threaded in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I never got my eyelashes threaded. It's amazing. Honestly, you feel beautiful afterwards. Really? Yeah. Can if you just... don't, then maybe you should talk to somebody. Okay. You I think that's a good idea. Uh, we're, can we run the Choice Scarf Crocodile? No. But it has beat up and it beats Dragapant. Not really. Why not? It Dynamaxes and then you're done. Wait, does it KO? No. It How does it's, it, it's a crocodile. It's base attack, attack isn't even over 120, isn't it? Oh my god, you're right. I thought it had a higher attack. I didn't even know that it wasn't over 120. I just assumed because I know that it's bad. Okay, why does it do no damage? Because it's bad. Hey, it does you know, literally nothing. Crocodile won worlds in 2017. I'm like, alright, there was no other ground types except for Garchomp. <laughs> well, Garchomp's a pretty good ground type to be fair. Alright, well he didn't have room for Garchomp. Okay, if they use the second you, best ground type, which is Crocodile. And That's then the gap. you have Lash Out, it's 150 base power, and it's... Okay, if, you, if they intimidate you, and then you Helping Hand, it KOs. 
All right, I'm going to use this one small moment to give our boy, you know, our boy, his moment of fame. That Crocodile shouldn't have even won Worlds. Okay, you can't talk about shouldn't, shouldn't. It did win Worlds. It shouldn't have won Worlds. It, sh it could have won. Sh it did. Not every, there's no such thing as should have in Pokemon, right? right? Like, but nobody still. should do anything, if we're going to be completely honest. All right, so how about this? Instead of Crocodile should be on our team... It shouldn't be on our team. <laughs> but I like Crocodile, and we get to beat the Uppy. Oh. Alright, let's waste less time on Crocodile. We have Alakazam and DD Terrakion. This is such a bad team. It's just not no, a team. Does Urshifu get beat up? Urshifu? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Maybe the Dark version? Did oh, they get they actually, moves? they both get beat up. Wait, we can run Choice Scarf Urshifu. I'm not opposed to that. It's That's two fighting types, though. We need speed control. Yeah, we need speed control. Okay, I think I think the way this is looking to me is we have offensive, offensive, and DD, trick room setter, trick room sweeper, question mark. How does that sound? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I was so we have, currently we have offensive mon Alakazam, offensive mon Terrakion, and DD support mon. Trick room setter? I'm cool with that. Trick room sweeper? I'm cool with that. And then question mark for the last slot. Like Blue beat mon. up or something. Good mon. Good mon, yeah. Gudra. <clears throat> Gloomon. Oh, Gloomon, yeah. I'm gonna hold it all together. Well, what a, there's only, I think that P2 being back is great. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Like, it doesn't even need to be perfect. Let's just try it. Let's Porygon not two. just fall into the old trap of using Porygon 2 the way that we always used it. Like, maybe we can do something interesting with it. Well, it needs to have an Eevee Light. Okay, yeah, well, that's not what I meant. I meant the moves. <laughs> and it needs to have Trick Room. Yeah, Trick Room and Recover, I think, are mandatory. I'm, I'm very fine with Porygon 2 being flexible. If you remember, I used Shadow Ball P2. Yeah, I ran Swagger Tebu Fini with. Return Porygon 2, but then I missed all my swaggers. How about agility? Uh, let's not get too crazy. I was kidding. Icy Wind, oh, no. Did get anything new? Speed Swap looks new. I don't think I used to get that. Wait, you could have fast Porygon 2 and not have to use... Um... Hey, it's kind of stupid, but what do you think about Eerie Impulse? Like, one attack and then Eerie Impulse and just, like, destroy special attackers. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, like, at least seeing how that works. Yeah, let's just try it. Like, I think we should be treating this as, like, a testing grounds, right? Like, Aaron's a good player, and, like, I uh, maybe these concepts are strong. Very impulse. <clears throat> what are you doing, Ice Beam? Is there anything what better? Did, well, here's the thing. What do we need to hit the most in this format? Excadrill, Togekiss. It depends. Like, let's oh. come back to the move. Let's decide on the Sweeper next. I think that will help us determine... What does this team want to use under Trick Room? Like, where are we? When are we setting Trick Room? I think now? we lead either. I think yeah. we, the the default mode is going to be in DD plus either Alakazam or Terrakion. Do some work early game and then try and sweep with Porygon two and something. Arachnid. I feel like Arachnid makes sense. No, nah, it can't be Arachnid because like the thing about Arachnid is it only has one offensive attack. Basically, it's like mono water attacking, and if so, if they have Gastron on a Rillaboom, we just lose, right? Yeah, I guess so. I rem oh wait, we we need a oh wait, we don't need for Amoongus. Um, is there anything that underspeeds Amoongus that we can use? Torkoal. I don't have Torkoal here. I'm not a Torkoal fan in general. Um, here I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the speed. Yeah, I, I literally I literally already did it. <laughs> um, Amoongus is base thirty. What's down there? What about Obama Snow. <laughs> it's too fast, right? Oh, but it's not. Yeah, I see what you're saying. We could also run something with um. Okay, we could do Hatterini. I'm okay with that. I don't like Hatterene. I don't either, but... I, I like Hatterene, but I think it's really hard to use. Um, what are we trying to get around again? Amoongus. Amoongus. Yeah, but we, don't, we have answers. Like, kind of have adequate answers. We're going to lose to... Wait, we can't do Hatterene. We'll, like, super lose to... um. We'll super lose to, like, sand stuff. All I'm saying is that Crocodile Porygon 2 looks kind of nice for uh, for dealing with sand. I don't like Ferrothorn, otherwise I'd say Pharaoh. Yeah, then we need to do something super offensive. Super offensive. Um, like I like to I like um I like no not Tarkian. I like I was gonna say I like Marowak, but it's so bad against sand. What about Reuniclus? No, we don't want another Psychic type. Like if we wanted a Psychic type, we take Hatterini, right? Yeah, but Reuniclus can actually hit things. I like don't so. think Max I Focus Blast will KO's Max Tyranitar. No, or it Max doesn't. Was that? No, it doesn't. Yeah, um, and that's important. Hmm. 
We're kind of lacking in Turk Room Sweepers right now. Now that they added Amoongus, that's kind of annoying. We can rinse goggles and something. I don't. I, if we're gonna go a Trick Room Sweeper, I want to use something powerful. I yeah, I agree. Thing item probably. Yeah. Be our weakness policy or. <clears throat> we haven't. All right, think about this. We're not gonna set up Trick Room in the face of an Amoongus. That's true. You, we, you have two psychic types. So let's not worry about that because it, 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 it very much limits our options. Yeah. So let's go. What's the next thing that you want to underspeed? Rhyperior? I don't even think Rhyperior is going to be that pop popular. I don't, I don't expect to see any Rhyperior. Trompa? I mean, I like Trompa, but I don't think it's good. Like, I, my default would just be throw Conkledur on, but it doesn't really work. It should be a physical or special attacker. What do you think? I hate... This is the first time and the last time I'm ever going to suggest in my life, but Mudsdale. Nah. Like, Mudsdale's goal is... Mudsdale is like, hey, you want to not do any damage? And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, okay, I'll do that. Bro, what about Executor? What? Executor. It's not a sweeper. It's a support mod. It's not a good sweeper, I should say. The Alolan one? They're both... Like, I mean, I don't think... 125 special attack. Grass, Dragon. Kind of decent typing. I don't think I, so. I really didn't think it would be this hard to sell you on that, but... I, I, I only like regular Executor. That's my secret. Slow King? Slow Bro? Slow Galar? No. Slumber Galar, Thonk, no. What are we weak to? Sand dark types. And kind of. we kind of are worried about. Uh, I guess. Um, sheep type. fairy types, like like if they have token kiss, doesn't it get kind of difficult? Yeah. Because we only have Terrakion for it right now. But Capersia. 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 Elephant. I like elephant. Elefante. Elefante. I guess Sheer Force, though we can't use Life Orb with it. I have always liked Copper Aja. It also goes Heavy Metal. What? Yeah, it does. <laughs> with Cop Copper Capersia, we can um, run Play Rough. Okay. To set terrain. Okay. I like Assault Vest Capersia. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm okay with that. I see no problems. Oh, Player Off is boosted by Sheer Force, too. Yeah, Player Off and Iron Head are both boosted. And then, what else do you run on it? I forget. Steel Wait, gets, Roller! What's that? It gets Curse. Uh, I don't think we have time to set it up. I'm a little also, worried. Also, if we're running Area Impulse, do you really need... Uh, Bro, and it's going to be so uh, bulky. I guess so. Well, and then you can boost its defense, too. Do you want to roll the Steel Roller? Nah, let's not mess around with that just yet. Well, if we're running Assault Vest, we can probably go to... Mm. But this, it has, like, for example, I would always rather have, like, even if I just took, like, high horsepower superpower, for example. Or wait, don't you want power whip on it for, like, grass types and ground types? I don't know, man. Steel Roller goes helps us with the Rillaboom. And we have our own terrain so that we can activate it to make it work. I think Incineroar is going to be the sixth slot. Incineroar? Yeah. I'm okay with Incineroar. I don't like Fake Out and what's it called? But I think you either do NDD or Incineroar. Because, like, Terrakion, Incineroar, Porygon 2, Cap Capersia, or whatever the sweeper is. Looks kind of okay. All right. And then we have Capersia for... We should make Capersia beat Rain because it's kind of our Rain answer. Yeah, it's true. We actually just hard lose Rain, don't we? Well, we have Eerie Impulse. If we can get Trick Room up, we're fine. We have Indeedee, Porygon 2. Yeah, like, they shouldn't be able possible. to stop Trick Room from going up. I don't think Porygon 2 will try to like, water spam, although... Hmm. Um, How do we beat Rain with this? Does it get an electric move? No. I think maybe... I don't like Capersia. I'm going to be completely honest. What? Bro, we were just having a moment. I know, I know. But, like, I've tried it before because I almost brought it to the Players Cup Invitational. Really? And it was not... Like, the thing is, once it gets intimidated, it's so weak. All right, well... What are, what are the other options? We need a Trick Room Sweeper. Yeah. What about Marowak again? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then it wouldn't be Incineroar probably in the last slot. It'd probably be somebody else. All right, and Cinnara is okay, but we need something. To it could also be Crocodile. It could be Scarf Crocodile. Bro, we need a Trick Room Sweeper. Yeah, yeah, I'm really saying if we use Marowak, we can use Crocodile as well. Yeah, good idea. Are I'm you not serious? Letting you... No, I'm not letting you use Crocodile. <laughs> but it gets Scarf damage. beat up! The beat up is so fast, it activates Trakion! You better title this so my friend wouldn't let me use Crocodile. <laughs> Why I'm not friends with Justin anymore. <laughs> Why I'm not trying. friends Justin cares. <laughs> uh, Speaking of lashing out. Um, 
That was, that was really good. Oregon 2, Incineroar. Uh, we need a, something to abuse trick. Wait! Azumarill. Well, I can find some Azumarill. What item, though? AV? You can go AV. We can also go... Uh... You can go Sap Sipper. Never okay, mind. if you've lost me. You want to bring it back? <laughs> okay, wait. First of all, we're running Shiny out there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can get a Shiny out of time. Um, but the General, sure. General. Alright, Alakazam and Didi. Well, here's the thing. They prepare for Alaka Alakazam and Didi. What do they bring? They bring Dark Types. So if you go Azu, and you You're have Trick Room Road. I think this is a mod you can afford Steel Roller on. Azumarill? Is Hulfus Azumarill? I'm okay with running a Sulphus. Like, because I think you run Water. I think you run Play Rough, Aqua Jet, mm -hmm. Water Move. Dude, I, honestly, maxing this thing, giving it a defense boost. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think you max this a lot of the time. Do you give Waterfall too? I was thinking Liquidation. Oh, wait, does it get Liquidation now? What yeah, the heck? I think it. Yeah. I don't know. Did actually, it just, oh, it does get Waterfall. Liquidation slightly stronger, so let's use that. I didn't even know it got it. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, yeah. actually, this is kind of looking kind of nice. This is kind of this is kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. And then you have AV plus uh, <laughs> EV light or plus uh, plus eerie impulse, which is funny. All right, so now we have three things weak to fighting types, but we have two things that three things that scare it away. We have three yeah, fighting types don't seem that problematic. Wrong. Yeah, we have a decent tricker mode. We have intimidate and Cinderor. Um, yeah, I mean the psychic things are really good for. Okay. Yeah, and no, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Incineroar, Gloomon. I like Incineroar, it. Gloomon? Yeah, I'm going to run Burning Jealousy on it to be Dragapult. We're running the Eduardo Kuna strategy of uh, no ground resist. Oh, he's going to be so mad. Oh, we, I hope some. he doesn't see this. A P2 with Intim Intimidate is ground resist. Incineroar That's is kind true. of a ground resist. Oh, yeah, Porygon 2 is a ground resist, yeah. yeah. And Azu and a Trick Room does great against Sand. That's true, wait, yeah. Did, I'm a, I mean, Sand plus Moongus is going to... Wait, how do we beat Sand plus... Oh, we have Terrakion. Hold on. Um, it doesn't get power up now. It doesn't get a grass move. I was a little, I'm a little bit worried about. I was gonna say Gastro, but honestly, like, who cares about Gastro? Yeah. I knew Eerie Impulse. Maybe. What do you think about Adamant and not Brave Azumarill? Because that way, like, we can bring Azumarill out of Trick Room and max it, and then play rough to make sure Moongus can't be annoying. Could you repeat that? I'm sorry, I lost you. No, you're fine. Sorry. Um, I like. I was thinking about Brave Zero Speed, but that gives you 49 stat, which means you'll underspeed a Moongus. Wait, what? We under speed, not min speed Amoongus. Yeah, like neutral Amoongus. Okay. So it shouldn't be in neutral, but yeah, let's maybe let's just run Brave Thirty One Ivy because that way we can max play rough before they go for um before they go for spore, so we can like fight out of trick room. Yeah, just put it all together, and then once you have it together, we can. Yeah. Another thing too is now this kind of gives us some surprise factor. Yeah. Where the NDD is like bluffing his Dumarill mode, not really because. Psychic like train. That's true. But, Yo, you know, we can be crazy. Man. Oh, Yo, we can use Steel Roller to break our terrain in then Aqua Jet. That's actually <laughs> You actually can do that, which is actually kind of... That's actually kind of sick. Uh, I think it's third move on Alakazam is going to be Speed Swap. That way we... Because, like, it pairs really well with Porygon and Azumarill. Mm -hmm. um, and even Incineroar, you could argue. Yeah, honestly, no, I love that. That's yeah. great. I was actually going to suggest that, but yeah. you took it first because you're more... No, no, you suggested mm -hmm. that earlier. Like, you... That's, that's from Justin, but... I was, ah, like, I, was, I was torn between Nasty Plot. I would think maybe Nasty Plot all exam, but looking at this team, I think maybe Speed Swap is good. Um, yeah. What I do is I lure you into thinking that your ideas are your own. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I'm just doing some calcs here. This kind of looks nice. We don't have beat up, but... Yeah, it's fine. We have Swords Dance. Hmm. What's the item on Terrakia on Lumberry? Um, I don't know. I was thinking maybe Lumberry. Mm. Or, hey, what about, okay, call me crazy. Goggles? What about, I was going to say goggles! I was, I know. I knew immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we are so insane we're right really, now. We're really all on the same page right now. Um, Jeez. I'm going to run super physically bulky in Sonora so that you can take, like, super strong max quakes. Wait, I'm not sure we can live, like, Teraki on stuff. You're like Justin Timberlake, and I'm like JC. I'm like Justin Bieber. I married a lady named Haley. Haley? Yeah, I forget the Haley, girl's name. I don't know. Haley, Haley. I saw. I saw. Isn't it Haley Bieber now? Aren't they married? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. I, saw, I know. Only, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not that I. It's just that I. I don't really follow pop culture. Oh, sassy. 
Into our, or, yeah. Wait, this is this is gonna be inefficient. We want 140 stat. It's gotta be relaxed. Wait, hang on. Let's check. So this is two 125, and this is. Wait, you bend it to me, but I don't have. Oh, you. Oh, you. I was just about to say the same tech on mm, Cinnaroy. The lash out burning jealousy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that could be cool. Bro, there's people. I can see them, but they can't see me. I feel like a secret agent spy. Oh, they saw me. Oh god, now I have to move. They are like there's like a slit in my in my blinds. Oh, oops. Um, oops. Uh, I don't feel like doing smart as EV spread in his numeral. I want to do stupid EV spread in his numeral. What did I yeah. do? Yeah. Honestly, dude, I don't know if we should reveal some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's delete this video. Let's delete it. Yeah, I think I, I okay. I think let's cut that that vocal. Like honestly, dude, I don't let I don't think we should reveal some of this stuff. And then cut to me losing the Aaron zero four zero four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of like... I'm going to go in... I'm not going to test this a single game. I'm going to go in totally blind. The first games I play of Series 5 is going to be versus Aaron. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, you know, you should... No. I'm going to get it. rolled, bro. I'm, I am going to get rolled. No, it's your job to roll him with terrain up so you can aqua jet. And right, right, so I can get the aqua... Yes, exactly. Okay, what move do we want Pori on? Um, I wish there was, like... I wish it got Nightshade, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I'm glad it doesn't, but I, I wish it did. <laughs> it doesn't get seismic toss. Maybe just try attack, honestly. Like, it's not like we beat Dusclops anyway. I think that Ice Ice Beam is the best move in that last slot. We hit Dragapult, we hit Togekiss, but we can freeze yeah. stuff with try attack. You can freeze stuff with Ice Beam. You can freeze stuff with... It's 20% to get a, a 1 in 3 chance to freeze. You think Ice Beam? Um, yeah, ice is good, beam. honestly. Ice is good offensively. It's the defense that mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah. I don't know what to live with Porygon too. I guess I'll live close combat from Terrakion. Are you sure you want to do Eerie Impulse? Which situ what situations are we worried about? Uh, yeah, maybe we don't do Eerie Impulse. What about um, Foul Play? No, not Foul Play. The thing is, what's better? Like, ideally, I'd run like something that would boost Azumarill's attack, but it doesn't get anything. Yeah, I mean, what are we going to run? It's either Try Attack or Thunderbolt, right? Yeah, it's up to you. Oh, do we start with bulky waters? Maybe bulky waters are annoying. But what are bulky waters going to do to a zoom roll Porygon 2 with Eerie Impulse? Hmm, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know that it depends. Like, what. Eerie Impulse makes a rain matchup look really easy. Yeah. Maybe not super easy, because, like, we still have to figure some stuff out, but yeah. It could also be Toxic. I don't think it learns it. I would run Toxic, but I, I don't. Because remember, it's like an old move. It says it's on there, but. It's on Showdown. If you go on Cerebi, it's not here. It's like, it's like for the singles players. Come on, stupid singles players. Yeah, I know, dude. Agency. <laughs> Shout out to the agency. Oh, wow. Dude, Porygon 2 is so bulky. That's actually insane. You should... Wait, did you check the calcs against Arshifu? Oh, no. I was calcing versus... Terrakion. Hmm. I'm really happy that we have Ndidi. I'm very happy we have Ndidi as well. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This kind of feels pretty good. I actually am kind of digging it. I think outside of just water spam and arguably a little bit of annoyance against sand, but I don't know that the sand is going to exist. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what I wanted. This is pretty seamless. I'm surprised how much we accomplished for a TFT and a Smash player. <laughs> uh, we need to figure out the last move on Alakazam. I'm kind of feeling Focus Blast. Um, because that way we can max Alakazam. If you need to, yeah. Uh, speed Swap, Expanding Force. Like, we're only clicking Expanding Force and Protect, right? <sighs> What's the next? What is the other case? What is going to lead into Alakazam that we want to break through that kind of clears the way? Because it's going to be going down. You're probably not going to get a KO without a stab. That's true. I mean, I just like Focus Blast because it at least gives us an option versus Tyranitar stuff. What about Encore? Uh, I don't like Encore in a Dynamax format. Like, I love Encore as a move and I would totally run it, but in a Dynamax yeah. format? I mean, the other option, dude, is we just say, okay, we're just going to run Mono Psychic Attack and run Nasty Plot. But I think that's probably bad. Can like do something uh, taunt substitute. It's not maxing, so substitute's not a bad idea. You can max it as the thing. Like you can max it if you want. I kind of like energy ball too. Um, I can get down with energy ball, but you overwrite your own terrain if you max. Oh wait, we're not maxing it. What are we energy balling? Wait, big brain, big yeah. brain. What about try attack? Wait, what? Oh, for max strike? Wait, no, why? Yeah, max strike. I think if we'd max it, I'd rather just run focus blast. Cause like if I'm if I'm maxing it, it's like to smack Tyranitar or something, you know. But most of the time, I'm not maxing it. Yeah, that's the issue. Do you want to run in prison? 
I think the thing about Alakazam is that you just don't have time to imprison stuff most of the time, you know, because you're so frail. Wait, what about your arm? Is that better than Nasty Plot? I think that Nasty Plot is, like, definitely fine. I'm cool with Nasty Plot, but without Sash, I just feel like I feel like if we have Nasty Plot, we're going to be tempted into using it. Yeah, and then we're going to lose for Alex. Um, which... I think that Trick Room could definitely net you more of a positive result, actually. I fear the thing. If I was going to Trick Room, I already have Speed Swap to mess with the speed. So if I use Trick Room to reverse their Trick Room, then I could just Speed Swap and make myself slow and make them fast. Or... What about role play? Nah, there's nothing... Like, we need something proactive, I think. Psychic Terrain. The thing is, if they had Sand, I'd bring Terrakion, right? Ally switch. I'm just like, going through the yeah, moves. Yeah, I forgot to take Terrakion's move. Let's just run Nasty Plot and see what happens. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like there's, there's, there's situations with Alakazam where, like, we can click Nasty Plot and then just win the game, right? Yeah. I feel like there's, honestly, this is one of the most, like, ridiculous move pools. It has so many good moves. It has a lot of great moves. I kind of like Alakazam too. I don't like its defense that. Like, yeah. I really, really don't like its defense that. So going on a date with like a beautiful person, and then you find out that like they clap when the airplane lands. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Everything else about Alakazam is fantastic. Great family. <laughs> you were actually such a goon. Good, cool. good education. <sighs> I hear it has a really high IQ stat. Yeah, I heard it's pretty high. Um, baby. <laughs> um, so that's the team. Let's take a final look at it. Alakazam and DD, Max, 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 Terrakion, Goggles, Porygon, Trick Room Recover, Eerie Impulse, Ice Beam. There's some cool. We have some cool tech on here. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's some cool stuff. Can we test it just a little bit. Just no, I have to use the bathroom, so we have to end the video. Uh, all right, dang. Me too, honestly. Yeah, I really like, I've had to go for like five minutes. <laughs> that's really it's bad. So I'm in pain. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check out, we'll have the battle up against Aaron tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Justin, Sick. you want to say anything? Um, subscribe to Wolfie, like the video, click the bell. Click the bell. Please click the bell. Please, I don't know what happens if you click it. Click no one's ever clicked bell. it. <laughs> just kidding some people have clicked it thank you to thanks everyone for having me on, dude. yeah thanks for thanks for being on thanks for your help this is definitely a lot smoother than i think if i would have done it on my own so win or lose we'll use this team a fair bit in the channel i think we'll use it on stream a bunch because it's my first series five team so yeah we'll give it a shot um check out the battle video tomorrow and yeah see you next time justin do you want to do you want to plug anything do you want people to follow you anywhere or are you just chilling no nah, not really using social media just uh donate you know to all the causes that are going on pay yeah. attention to stuff in the news uh, be good people. Yeah, very Spread well some said. love. What's the last thing? Spread some love. Spread some love. Well said. And on that note, goodbye.